right now at 11, we're going to stay on top of some breaking news in Clayton County where multiple people are hurt after a police chase turned into a crash right near the airport. Just in the last two hours, we learned law enforcement's been trying to catch the suspect for days. Here's some video from that scene right along Church Street off Riverdale Road. That's right near the Chick-fil-A Riverdale Dwarf House. Witnesses say the suspect had two kids in his SUV when he crashed into another car and flipped his own. 11 Alliance, Cody Alcorn is live in Riverdale. Now, Cody, you have been speaking with people right there on the scene. What are they saying about all this? Well, they say we're lucky more people weren't hurt in this crash. Now, it all happened right here behind me at Howard Street. You can see some of the glass still in the median, but check this out, Ron and Jennifer. Here is some of the car parts from that sedan the suspect crashed into before he kept going down Church Street, flipping his SUV and crashing into those woods. As soon as I turned in, boom, 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 boom. Robert Cobb was just minutes away from being caught up in this mess. That's right behind me. Clayton County deputies pursuing this SUV. They were chasing the gentleman from this way. Heading towards Main Street. The car that got hit here was coming from Chick-fil-A. Totaling the Chrysler 300, sending the driver to the hospital. I'm just lucky that he didn't hit me. The suspect ending up crashing into everyone's surprise. There were some kids in the car. Yeah, kids in there. Two small kids. The one caught the SUV that was being chased by the police. It was two kids in the car. Hopefully they're all right. Something Cobb says he just can't understand. If you got kids in the car, just stop. If you got a ticket, just take it. If you got a warrant, just take it. But to put your life in some babies' lives in harm's way doesn't make no sense to me. It makes no sense at all. We can tell you the sheriff says the suspect tonight is heading to jail, facing 24 charges from this chase and the two others since April 20th. I've been trying to find out how those children are doing and the man who was hit here behind me, but so far we've gotten no updates on their conditions. In Riverdale, Cody Alcorn, 11 Alive News.